Hi everyone, this is Ed, and uh, this is my opinion on a fan theory about Galen Esso. In the most recent trailer, we get a little bit more information on Galen Esso. We see that at one point, possibly early in the film, he is essentially a farmer on a farmstead with his daughter Jin. Now, it looks like Orson Krennic specifically goes there and... I don't know if he's abducted or forcibly recruited. Now, according to Wikipedia, link in the description below, um, he is a fairly knowledgeable human scientist, which kind of gives me the potential credit of he might have weapons knowledge, hence the reason why he's recruited, or even energy systems knowledge, which, given how big the Death Star is and how many prime reactors and secondary reactors it must have would be a valuable so he would be a valuable member of the uh, production team and as a result excuse me <coughs> as a result he would be recruited now my thoughts on this is that if they recruit him against his will he's not going to be too happy he knows how powerful this weapon is he also knows how how much damage it can do so he wants to stop it but you can't go in, basically hold a blaster pistol to the main reactor, pull the trigger up, and blow the whole thing up. Well, not unless you're an uh, X-Wing pilot who bullseyes want rats at 100 yards. But, um, I had to get that in. Um, the easiest way would be to modify either the reactor or one of the reactors so that it creates too much heat. So an additional exhaust port would have to be designed into it. But it would be at such a late stage in the production that there wouldn't be a chance to shield it with ray shields or primary shields or particle shields or whatever they called in the Star Wars universe. And as a result, it creates a fundamental functional weakness. Now, he is also the one that sends the message to the Rebellion. They, in turn, recruit Jin, who believe that she has an advantage or perhaps an inherent gift with technology and knowledge which could be used in the favor of the Republic uh, the rebellion which I can understand and given that it's her dad that sent the message I can understand why they want the potential familiarity aspect there um, whilst like I, like I said there's not a lot of information I haven't there is no novelization at the moment. Whilst I do believe there will be one in the near future, I don't think it's going to be knowledgeable. I suspect Wikipedia will be updated at some point. I suspect most of the official information pages, cards, etc., etc., will be updated with more information on Galen Erso and his knowledge. We might even get an action figure um, with more detailed information on what knowledge he knows. Um, but as a final thought on this, do I feel that he sabotaged the Death Star? Or do I feel that he had a hand in modifying it so there was a sabotage, so there was a weakness in it? Yes, I do. Again, like I said, this is my opinion. I have no evidence of this. But um, check it out. I mean, there's plenty of fan theory pages on Reddit, on other websites, probably a few on YouTube as well, so I'm not the only one putting this kind of stuff up. But uh, I, I highly recommend you have a look into it. It's uh, potentially really good information and a plot hole filler from the first film. So uh, this has been it. This has been Ed. Uh, and um, I shall catch you on the next uh, My Opinions video. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.